Hi, it's Amanda again from Adventures with Fitnix. I got another video review for you. Today I'm looking at the Rim Sports Knee Compression Sleeve. I've done Rim Sports products before. Um, you may have seen my video review on their lifting gloves with the built in wrist straps. I loved those, so when I saw there was another Rim Sports um, item that I thought I could maybe use, I jumped at the chance to grab it. Um, the knee sleeve. Obviously one piece here, just slides on, no straps, no buckles, nothing like that. It's a little bit stretchy, um, but it's meant to be compressive, so it is um, meant to run a little tight. I got a size medium. My legs are maybe too big um, for something like this. Maybe I'm not getting the right size, but I'm not sure that's the issue. Um, I pulled this on. I wore it. For a couple days of lifting, I wore it for a couple other um, things that I tried, uh, just different types of motion with it, and found it to be way too tight. Um, it was cutting into the back of my hamstrings, cutting into the front of my quads, cutting into the top of my um, calves. Really, there was no configuration with this where I wasn't uncomfortable. Uh, when I took it off, the inside, um, the inside stitching here. You can see the stitching seams in there. I had um, impressions on my legs from it being so tight. Um, I was really not able to perform full range of motion, things like squats. I really just couldn't do. Um, and that's one of the best things, uh, one of the reasons that people think knee sleeves are good is for doing things like squats when you're putting a lot of pressure on your kneecap um, to keep it in place, to keep it a little bit of support. It's more of a preventative measure um, than necessarily a injury, rehab, or um, support, but it should do it should be more comfortable, uh, I think, than it was. Um, it turns out I, didn't, I don't really wear it that much anymore because it hurts. Um, I can't do my exercises. I can't really run in it. I can't really lift in it. Uh, I'm not really sure. Again, if it's a size issue, I used their sizing guide. I got the medium. I feel if I got a bigger size, it would be too loose on the knee and I wouldn't actually get any support. So there has to be some kind of balance between tightness and um, support, but this wasn't it for me. Um, other people may have different um, may have different experiences. I did actually lend this to a coworker of mine who was having some knee problems and still wanted to lift and he had the same feedback. Now, I didn't order a size meant for him, I ordered a size looking for me, so again, sizing could be off, uh, but I was a little surprised at how unwearable this actually really was. Um, so I definitely would say I don't recommend it. Um, I recommend their other products for sure. I think that it's really definitely high quality. I think it's well made. It's, it's holding up nicely. I've washed it. Um, it's not pilling. You can see the fabric is perfectly normal. Seams are holding together nicely. Um, doesn't smell. It smells like the wash. Um, but it didn't smell after a couple of wears with some sweat. Um, so, it, you know, it's, it's a high quality, durable product. It's just not maybe for me. Um, maybe I have the sizing wrong again. Uh, but I think I'm going to stick with, I'm going to be trying um, kinesthesiology tape instead of wraparounds for my knees because I have just not had good luck. I tried the strap around ones, I've tried the pull on ones. It's just not working for me, um, but I definitely need some support. So I'm going to try some other options there and we'll let you know how it goes. Um, I'm going to write up a full review of this as well, um, including pictures of how it looked on the back of my leg after I took it off. Um, and how it looks when it's on and you can see where it's squeezing my um, my thighs a little bit too much to be comfortable um, So that vid that uh, written review will come out soon I'll put the link down there in the comments as always uh, once that's up and uh, You can check out anything else on adventures with Fitnix. I got a bunch of video reviews I've got a bunch of written reviews on the blog all those links are down there including social media Check us out. We'll see you again next time on adventures with Fitnix